Good morning, everyone. I'm a little bit sleepy. I'll wake up throughout the video, I'm sure, but this I got a super excited last minute opportunity to give you guys a look at a game that no one has seen yet. Black Tabby Games is working on a new project. We know them from Scarlet Hollow, super awesome game, episodic. Can't wait for the next episode. But they're working on a new project right now, new horror game called Slay the Princess. This one is fully voice acted and actually by two pretty big names as well. If you like horror podcasts, Nicole, excuse me? What does that mean? Um, but you might know Nicole Goodnight uh, from the No Sleep podcast. The one I'm like, oh my God, about is Jonathan Sims from the Magnus Archives. So cool. So they are voice voicing this game together with additional voices, but they're like the two big ones. So let's dive into it, check out the demo and see what it's like. Um, flashing lights. BB said so. B, what's up? You wanna like come cuddle? Do you need love and attention? Do you need TLC? Is that what you want? No. Is that better? Okay, so let's have a look at the options first. Full screen. Roll back side. Okay, so you can replay it and skip text. That's interesting. Transitions. Skip transitions. Oh. Chapter One, The Hero and the Princess. You're on a path in the woods. That is and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in oh, the basement shit. of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. No big deal if only listen to like 200 episodes of the Magnus Archives. Ooh, so these are our choices. The end of the world, what are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Can't someone else do it? Forget it, I'm not doing it. So many choices! Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? <laughs> of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. <laughs> I mean, maybe some people do. Nihilists or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those, right? <laughs> Let me, um, is there a menu? Oh, great. Because the music is a little bit loud compared to the voice. Okay. Killing a princess seems kind of doesn't bad, though, doesn't it? Are you a monarchist? Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman, or a miller, or a seamstress? If anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value to society. Hmm. I, I, I guess. Unfortunately, you're the only one who can pull this off. I don't make the rules. I wish I did, but I don't. Oh, the perspective. I only now notice the perspective changes when I move the mouse. The end of the I'm world. talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. I had a dream last night that I was a CIA agent. And I was a really good programmer and I was fighting a virus that someone was going to upload into the system, but it would affect all humans and plants. It was quite an exciting dream. Don't linger on the specifics. You have a job to do here. Just get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting on you. Look, you're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? Mm. Make it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. Yeah, why am I here? While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Uh-huh. Nevertheless, 
let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. And before mm. you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Ugh, what a voice. I'm such a big fan. <laughs> Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. Mm -hmm. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Mm. Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. Okay. I'll go to the cabin and I'll talk to her, and if she's as bad as you say she is, then maybe I'll slay her. But I'm not committing to anything until I've had the chance to meet her face to face. Okay, I'm sold. Let's get this over with. Thanks for telling me what to do. Walk towards the cabin, turn around and leave. Do you think the world ends if we turn around and leave? Um, let's... let's go meet I her. I guess we'll just have to see what happens, but a word of warning. If you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. Mm. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. Oh. Then each and every one of us is doomed. So sure, go talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. <laughs> I love his voice so much. <laughs> you make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Mm. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Let's go have a look. The interior oh. of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Mm. Yeah, I'll take it just in case. You take the blade I mean, from the if table. she's dangerous, then... It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Let's go in. Oh, I don't like this. Princess, the door wake to the up. basement creaks open, I don't revealing like a staircase this. faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. Mm. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. <sighs> Her voice carries up the stairs. Oh, who's there? Who? It's commanding. Who? Almost as though she's <laughs> the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Oh, I want to see her. I think I'm here to kill you. I would just continue Good. down the stairs. You're still listening to reason. I would be careful, yeah. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. Are you here to kill me or something? Uh, where am I gonna... Uh, uh, how about this? I'm here to kill me or something. What? No way! Why would you even think that? Okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. No, no. -uh. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk, steal your nerves, and step forward. I haven't decided yet. How about you drop the knife and the two of us just talk? Look how reasonable she's being. We should just drop the blade and talk things out. Hmm. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster, but killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Uh, she looks nice, but the description, coldly beautiful, 
puts me on my guard. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm blocking Dex wherever I go. That should be safe. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Hmm. Do you hear the conviction in her voice? Do you see the razor sharpness in her gaze? I don't think she's bluffing. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. But what do we do? Then I'm not talking to you. Mm. I guess we're at an impasse. Squint at the princess while holding on to the blade. You stare at the princess, squinting. I'm stalling. <laughs> she squints back. <laughs> the two of you are going to do this forever, aren't you? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to talk? Squint even harder. Squint even harder. <laughs> Staring contest. So does she. Hmm. At least nobody's dying right now. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to make a choice. You can't keep squinting forever. Eventually, someone is going to have to blink. So how is this... Oh god, I'm running out of options. Okay, realistically speaking, I would drop the blade. If it was actually me standing there, someone telling me that I need to kill someone without them looking like they're dangerous, I don't think I would be able to do it. So let's go with this first. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Mm. Don't eat me. Against your better judgment, Aww. You step forward to speak with the princess face to face, unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Hmm. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So, this is a pretty awkward start to a relationship. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty awkward. Not to make things even more awkward. But do you know why you're here to kill me? Nope. Of course I do. Do you think I'd just come here to kill someone without even knowing why? That would be ridiculous. Do you, do you know why I'm here to kill you? You're a threat to the whole world. I can't say I do. I've been told things, but I'm not sure what to believe. Yes. Believe me. And do you think asking me what to believe is going to suddenly make everything crystal clear? Let's not pretend that's going to happen. Too much text. As far as you're concerned, and as far as they're concerned, I'm going to say whatever I have to to get out of here. That's just the dynamic of our situation. Hmm. How would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're going to end the world. People out there who think you're a threat. What do you have to say about Don't it? Don't just tell her that. Do you believe that? Oh, that's a creepy face. Of Monster? That's a creepy face. Did they even bother to tell you mm, how I'm supposed it's to It's slipping end the world? through. Because that just doesn't sound like the sort of thing I'd be capable of. Uh What are you going to do if I let you out of here? Princess hesitates before responding. She doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. She knows what she'd do. She's just searching for whatever answer she thinks you want to hear. I don't think what I do really matters. Look, at the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Hmm. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. 
Yeah, that doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you, either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or any other number of good things that I'm sure you want to hear. Mm-hmm. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? Well, it's how you convey the lines as well She's that right matters. about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. Mm -hmm. So, do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. Uh. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. Hmm. How long have you been down here? Too long. Again, That's not an answer. No specifics. Yeah. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. What if she's like a thousand years old? Alien. You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here. And if there isn't, well, we can always put that knife to good use. Cut your hand off. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting, right? I she think is. she is. I'm sure of it. Yeah. What's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness oh. or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. You would think she's past the point of honorifics at this point. Oh. Have you decided what to do with me? No. You know why you're here. <laughs> I have no idea. Slay the princess. I'm getting you out of here. Keep her locked away. I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Hmm. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, oh. I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. The text change. She's more dangerous. And if you don't, I can promise that oh. you'll come to regret that decision. Ooh, hoo, hoo, she's you getting dangerous. Ooh, creepy! The creepy Let's smile! Hope for all our sakes, it's the right one. Um... Uh, okay, so it's kill, keep prisoner, but then she's going to escape or help her and possibly get killed. But that face, though, I don't trust that face. There's something slipping through here that is making me uneasy. Maybe we should go with Slave for the first time. And then maybe we should help her out next time? Ooh, They're toying with my heart! Wait, okay, let's drag it out. Let's drag it out. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. You're making then... a mistake. Another time through, we can just, like, go straight for the kill or something. You turn your back to the princess. <gasps> the knife! Way to the stairs. You forgot about the knife. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Who locked you in there in the first place? Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Mm. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? Yeah. You can still turn around and finish the job. She did. Slip. You should drop her mask. Uh, oh, thank God! I was afraid I'd already committed to not slaying her. No, let's let's go. Of all of us, see fine. what this does. 
Have it your way. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. It's not gonna do much. Okay. We can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. <laughs> but sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. Is she cutting off her hand? I know you're still there. Oh. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? There we go. It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long. Oh, oh, ah, Terrifying. I stress clicked. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. You mm. won't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting Ugh, any it's so better. loud. Get away! No, it doesn't. Uh-huh. I love his voice so much. <laughs> All of that was just an act. You're not really innocent and harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. I could be innocent and harmless if I want to be. Teasing me with fresh air and a chance to finally live freely doesn't inspire me to play nice. You put Oof. the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. Did she just keep- oh. You jolt away to the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped and the door to the basement is ajar. It's oh, locked no. broken and the table shoved out of the way. How did she not kill us in our sleep? Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? No. She Make it quick, closer, please. Oh. Silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Oh. Or maybe. Oh, so I creepy. With you. you don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only helped me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. I wonder. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time. But we both know this is the end. Don't we? Well, actually, I do it have a next be. time. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. The real Slade Princess starts here. You died. <laughs> the frost <off. laughs> That achievement. Oh, chapter two. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. A terrible sense of deja vu? No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us has been here. No, 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 you're not listening. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Are we sure we don't just want to turn around and hightail it out of here? She's going to do unspeakable things to us if we go back there. That's true. Voice of the me. Oh, is there another one of us in here? Huh? You're a voice of reason, right? Tell them we shouldn't go to the cabin. Tell them we shouldn't even bother. You are never going to slay her with that attitude. <laughs> Stuff that pathetic little voice to the back of your mind and stay focused <laughs> on the task ahead. Yeah, we should we should leave. Seriously? You're just going to turn around. <laughs> Do you even know nope. where you're going? 
Um, quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Should we do it? Just try and leave? Come on. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Does it just lead back? Oh. It looks like this path <sighs> also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Oh. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. And leave You're again. really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? <laughs> it's remarkably selfish. <laughs> me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. Mm -hmm. I'm not killing a princess. Maybe everyone should die. Quietly continue down the path. She would just block them out. And... <sighs> Your silence is deafening. But fine. You turn around and trek back down the path you came. And we're just gonna come. Oh, would you look now. at that? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition. So we don't have a choice. But I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you fated confrontation with the princess. Yeah. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts <laughs> to happen. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses oh. of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. see the cabin through the woods. But as you focus what? on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of That is hunt. so cool. In every direction, there is what? a and a cabin. And not just a cabin. The cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need what? to What? Wait, what's going on? But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. Mm. You've doomed us all, you know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Hmm. Wait, chapter two again? You're on a path in the Whoa, woods. Oh, what's that in the back? And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. Definitely going to slay that princess. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm going to the cabin. She Such got it magnificent coming. Magnificent gusto. We'll all be in the clear in no time. But what if we actually slay her then? I have one oh, last. Look one. at the walls. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. So Maybe just... we should believe her. Contrarian. Maybe she isn't a liar. Ignore them. They're just being difficult for the sake of it. <laughs> Wait, so who's trapping us in here? The interior of the cabin is odd. The air smelling faintly of plastic. The wood of the walls fitting together at uncomfortable angles. Mm. The only furniture is a plain wooden table. Its legs all the wrong lengths. Yeah, it looks causing weird. Causing it to tilt towards the door. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Uh -huh. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust. Or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. What good is a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyways? No, I'm going to I'm going to go for the I kill for one this would time. I'd rather have it. We don't really know what we're dealing with here. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. 
it'd be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. <sighs> Let's go in. Should we just go straight for the kill? The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an old wooden staircase. The steps are warped and shoddily constructed, the air seeping up from shoddily. below Shoddily. Oppressive, with an odd stink to it. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favour. Her voice carries up the stairs, its multi-tonal lilt adding to the already uneasy atmosphere. Hello. Is someone there? <laughs> this isn't what I expected her to sound like. What happened to her? What is she? I think we'd all like to know. You carefully make your way down the stairs. As you descend the final mm, step, what happened the, to her? the princess comes into view. What's going on? She locks up. One moving a little faster than the other. The loose skin of her face stretches into something resembling a smile. What's going on? Good lord. Something Ooh. in her neck bulges, roiling under her skin as she starts to speak, her voice pouring out between her closed teeth. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I had a friend. That's it. No! <laughs> Don't stop there! I was so ready to kill her. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Um, yeah, this left here is Scarlet Hollow. I can't wait. Yeah, three episodes out now. Fourth one's on the way. They have a Discord. We can wishlist it on Steam. I think I already did that. That was so cool. Can I wait? Can I go again? Jonathan seems. Oh, we're going back in. You know we're going to go back in. You're I want to start off with like woods. just and at killing the end of that immediately. Skip unseen text. Skip to unseen text. Skip after choices. I'm not sure. You're here to slay her. Sweet, I've always wanted to offer monarch. Vive la revolution. That's the spirit. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. You know, it actually makes me feel like we're in some kind of simulation. It'd be rather difficult to slay the prince. Because it said something about, like, if smelling plasticky and all the shapes were off, so it's like the thing is, like, falling apart or something. The door to the basement, her voice. Who's there? It's commanding. Who's there? Don't let it fool you. Continue down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. Let's try it. You walk Let's kill her downstairs. immediately. And lock eyes with the princess. Uh, steal your nerves and step forward. Yeah. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. That's true. So... You should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh oh. easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into Whoa. her heart. Whoa, is that my arm? What's going on with it? Oh. This is it, isn't it? I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming, but... I have to wonder, do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Oh, here we go. There it is again. That razor-sharp look in her eyes and the terrifying conviction in her words. Yes, even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. Oh. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago that arrogant look still plastered on her face. Oh, good. But is it over? Really over? I feel like she has some kind of trick up her sleeve. That was too easy. It's over. Don't get all worked up. With your work done, 
you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? You did kill someone. <laughs> Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. Mm -hmm. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Okay, leave. Chapter two. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only a world saved from certain doom oh. isn't what you find. Instead, what you find Go to space. is Woo! Like Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of space. <laughs> what happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. Mm. You'll be happy. That's bullshit. Let me out of here. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping I'd get a better ending for saving the world. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, Endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning of eternity. Your reward. I, I live forever best in for space? Everyone. Trust me. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Oh, well, that's good then, I, if I, I guess, if I'm happy. Hey, we're not just going to stay here forever, right? I'm happy. We're happy. I like it here. Are we really happy? Or is he just telling us that we are? Oh, this is weird. Hmm... <sighs> Maybe I'm not Good, happy. Because I have an idea to get us out of here. Ooh. Though you're probably not going to like it. The blade. Mm -hmm. We can use the blade to get out of this. Oh, no. I can no, hear no, no, everything no, 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 you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. Nah, we're not doing He's that. Right. It's the only way out. Do you no, hear no, that? No, 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 no. It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. Do you not? There's more for us to do, and the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. Mm, don't you dare. Didn't like that idea. I'm just gonna stick around and do nothing. Um, wouldn't it kill us? Wouldn't we be How dead? How astute. You are absolutely correct. Using the blade to kill yourself would kill you, and you shouldn't do it. Mm. In a sense, we die, but looking at things from another angle, are we even really alive anymore? This place, it's nothing. Mm. It's absolutely nothing. It's just the same thing, constantly, forever. Yeah, we're not even getting food or anything, right? There, but trust me, I know using the blade will work. Mm. That little voice didn't want you to slay the princess. It didn't want you to be happy. Uh, I'll be pretty upset if we die, die. <laughs> I'm not risking death over your weird hunch. You're right, I didn't like the idea. Uh, okay, if I'll be upset die, if die, you're not right. You can yell at me all you want. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You... you... ingrate? Fine. Whatever. What's happened to the princess? For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. The princess's Ooh. body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. Oh. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. The end. Nice knowing you. Are we really? Chapter two. Oh! You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path... Oh, that was cabin. wild. And in the basement of that cabin, you're here to slay her. Um... Okay, no. <laughs> 
But I died. What am I doing here? I can assure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, you're here to stay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. That's fine. Hmm. It wasn't very Voice hard of the cold. last time. We'll just do it again. Oh, is there another one of us in here? <laughs> I've always been here. I've just gotten a little louder. And oh, this is so weird. To have a marvelous time. <sighs> just stay focused on the task at hand. Okay. Uh, you trapped me here after I slew her last time. I'm not going to play along this time. I'll hand her no problem. Definitely going to slay the princess. Going to the cabin. But if we go back now, wasn't she like the creepy frog-like throat? throat bubbles creature yeah yeah i get it i'm going to the cabin <laughs> i have one last one for you she will lie she will cheat your right dude we already heard that she won't be a problem okay. i'm not sure i'm a fan of my new roommate I think <laughs> there's a lot more to this situation than we've been told the situation couldn't be more straightforward just ignore him hmm. do you think she looks different again The interior of the Whoa. cabin is cold. A soft odor of dirt. This looks so cool! <laughs> this is Cop my favorite version yet. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only item of furniture is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. Mm, do we take Before it? Before you have a Ooh! chance to even think about taking it, the top of a hand appears from underneath the floorboards. What? Two deep-set eyes stare up at you, eh? followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. How is she coming through the floor? And finally, the rest of the body oh, floats up to join X. the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? A g -g -g ghost <laughs> Oh, wow. How absolutely wow. terrifying. <laughs> What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Well, more importantly, how are we going to stab a ghost? Oh. It's you. Hiya, killer. I guess we've got some things to talk about, haven't we? Like how you murdered me? Mmm. Oh! Damn it. Okay. Is there anything else we could do? We tried walking away from the cabin. And then we got the weird simulation thing as she became all weird. We went straight for the kill, then ended up in space, and then she was a ghost. I think I might I might leave it here because I also don't want to I feel like I'm giving away too much <laughs> um, I can't wait for the full game to come out so this only just got announced like an hour ago or something by the time I put this video up so this is brand brand new um, there's it's still like early on I think we'll probably I, I'm not sure like honestly it's just been announced so we don't know much about it um, but I think we're probably gonna get Scarlet Hollow episode four before we would slay get Slay the Princess. I think. I also don't think, from what uh, I've been told, I don't think this game is gonna be episodic. I think this is like a package, a one deal package. Like this is a game. There's tons of like different ways this can go. Kind of getting like um, Stanley Parable vibes, don't you? Where it's like, ooh, maybe I missed that. Oh, sorry. She um she freaked out. That's a cool image. But yeah, there's not much that I know about it. Definitely check out their Twitter, check out uh, Wishlist their game on Steam, and then you get all the updates. Um, definitely check out Scarlet Hollow if you haven't seen anything about it yet. It's so, so fun and so good. The writing is amazing. I mean, I think you, you were able to tell from this demo that the writing is really smart, and the fact that this all like chains together is so impressive. I can't wait to play the full game, but I think I'll leave it here. Um, Oh, look at that. The title screen keeps changing. That was very fun. Definitely made me doubt myself. And seeing where all the paths lead is so, so fun. Um, but yeah, leaving it here for now. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys soon. Something else.